we're going to record. Hello and good afternoon, everyone. I am joined today by Taylor Banks, um, who is our part of our Blue Devils at Home series. So, Taylor, before we even get anywhere else, how are you doing today? Good afternoon. I'm doing fine. Um, today's been kind of slow, but it's going. It's going good. So, um, let's see. Um, so, how have you kind of adjusted to online classes? How has that gone for you? Um, well, at first it was, I thought it was easy, but it's been kind of a struggle, but I'm getting the hang of it now, and it's going pretty smoothly now. Nice, nice. Have, have your teachers reached out to you on a regular basis just to make sure that uh, you're doing all right? Yes, sir. Awesome, awesome. Um, so did you go back home? Uh, is that where you kind of uh, bunkered yourself right now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I've been staying in the house, um, doing workouts from home, pretty much everything from home. So, um, what kind of workouts are you working on? Um, what most of my workouts are lifting weights or running, just to stay busy and stay in shape for basketball. Sure. And did uh, Coach Rome or uh, Coach Martin send you a bunch of workouts, or how how'd you how did you come up with a workout plan? <laughs> well, I started off on my own, and then I kind of, you know, got tired of doing the same type of workouts. So I reached out to Coach Rome, and he gave me uh, more exercises in a various amount. Okay. Um, you know, I know you're back home with your family. So how is your family doing? Oh, we've been doing fine. We've, uh, you know, me and my sister are both in college. So now that we're all at home for, let's see, I think it's been like two years since we've all just been at home together. So we've been spending... We've been spending a lot of time bunging together and just, I mean, we have our me time sometimes, but most of the time it's just we're all in the living room, having family time, playing cards, or just doing different things together. Sure. Um, uh, what, where does your uh, sister go to school at? Uh, is she also in Southern, there? Oh. Sir? Um, uh, you said you, your uh, sister, you have an older sister. Um, does she also, mm -hmm. where does she go to school and does she also play athletics? She goes to school at Southern University in Baton Rouge, and no, she doesn't play. Uh, she doesn't play sports. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, besides, obviously, working out, what are some other things you're doing to kind of occupy your time right now? Because I'm sure that you have a little bit of additional free time uh, than you normally would have. Um, well, not really, because most of my most of my other time is spent doing my work. It's it's been a lot. Um, the teachers are kind of you know piling a lot of work, so I've been keeping up, uh, trying not to uh, stay behind or get behind on my work. So okay. other than that, I'm just outside or with family and just me and my dad started a garden. So I guess this has awesome. been taking up some of our time. Awesome. Well, um, uh, is there anything particularly you're looking to grow or, you know, um, in your garden? Oh, no, I just helped him out. He's kind of doing everything or growing everything. He's growing vegetables like tomatoes and uh, peppers and all of that. So I just help them out sometimes. Excellent, excellent. Um, my next question is, um, when social distancing's over, what's the first thing you're looking forward to doing? Well, I mean, it's my friends, like my friends back home. So I'm looking forward to seeing them. And we're all in college, so we haven't seen each other in a while. And we're just looking forward to seeing each other and just going back and getting adjusted to how it was before, just normal, just, I'm, a, I'm the person that's always on the go. So sitting at home is kind of hard to me, just staying in one spot. So I'm just looking forward to going out and all of it. Have you been uh, trying to keep in touch with your teammates as well as your friends um, through uh, through all the different social media avenues? Like, have you been using any uh, you know Zoom interviews or kind of keep or FaceTime or how, yeah. what's a social media platform you've been connecting with people? Um, Snapchat and FaceTime is how I've been. Uh, staying connected with my friends and my friends from college. Okay, okay. Um, obviously, you know, you just, you know, you're still in your freshman year, so how'd you choose Dillard uh, is where you wanted to attend school? Well, I knew I wanted to attend um, an HBCU and I wanted to go to one with a good sports program and also one that wasn't too big and wasn't too small. And I think Dillard was just perfect for that. And it also had a good academic um, foundation. So Dillard was, the perfect choice. 
Awesome, awesome. Um, so, you know, obviously you're just in your first year. So what's been your favorite experience of being a dealer? And also what's your favorite experience? Um, and it could be the same thing of being part of the mm -hmm. basketball uh, program. Well, my favorite experience of being a dealer is just being surrounded by people that look like me who are also striving to be excellent. So um, sports-wise is just being surrounded by um, other girls who have the same goal and have the same mindset to be great and just be excellent in uh, women's basketball. Okay. Um, and I, obviously, you know, you're still early in your collegiate career, but uh, have you noticed any uh, changes you've they have come to you like it's you've changed as a person over the time you've gotten mm -hmm. at the campus well i yes i've had i've gotten stronger mentally as well as physically but um more so mentally because with with college you're getting adjusted to a new environment being around people from different backgrounds so you have to learn to adjust to different people and realize that not everyone comes from the same place and it's kind of the same with basketball and um Coach Rome, he, he's the type of coach that's going to push you, and you have to be prepared, and you have to be mentally prepared, and that really helped me a lot. Um, and, I, and I know it's going to pay off in the long run, just being around him and uh, the type of coach he is, and it, that's a good thing. And it's just going to push you and know that you have to push yourself to um, get what you want to get in life. Um, have you picked out a major yet? Um, uh, you know, I know you're only in your first year, but have you picked a major? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. My major is psychology. And um, what are your career aspirations uh, once you graduate from Dillard and you're done with your, uh, you know, collegiate playing career? Well, I aspire to stay in the sports area, so I want to become a sports psychologist and just work with, um, well, I know I have to start off small, but work with pro athletes in that area of um, psychology. Okay. Um, now, I've, I've grown you with some tough questions, so, you know, this is some easier ones for you. Um, so, do you have a favorite actor or actress? Um, not really. It's too many. So, I just, you know, I just like, I don't have a favorite actor or actress. No, I don't. Okay. Um, do you have a favorite movie? My favorite movie is Drumline. Drumline, okay. Um, how about, is there um, a TV show or musical artist that you enjoy? I love Beyonce and I love um, Jennifer Hudson. Okay. Um, you know, is there a go-to song for, um, you know, Beyonce or Jennifer Hudson that, you know, <laughs> it comes on, you're, you're karaoke along with it? <laughs> That's every song, so I can't choose this one because I like all of these songs. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so far, um, what's been the best class you've had at Dillard? Mm, let's see. I enjoyed my college algebra class, and that was last semester. And this semester, I'm really enjoying my um, AWS class. It's the African World Survey class. Okay. Um, and this is kind of getting into your teammates. All right. Uh, who's the funniest a member of, uh, you know, the women's <laughs> team? I would have to say um, B. West, Deanna. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. awesome. Um, who is, out of the whole group, the most energetic? <laughs> Paige. Paige. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I won't put you on the spot too much with those because I know that uh, your team would <laughs> be an answer like, why didn't you ask uh, today me? So, mm -hmm. a historical figure you always wanted to meet and who would that be if you did have one? Um, I would want to meet um, Madam C.J. Walker. I, had, I watched a um, series on Netflix about her and she was just a, a hard driving woman and she knew what she wanted in life and she didn't let anyone get in her way. And, that's what I like about her, so I would want to meet her. Um, is there anything that your hometown is known for? Hmm. We're known for, it's small, but we're known for um, giving the most money to St. Jude. Do you know what St. Awesome. Jude is? Yep, I yeah. do. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, is there a hidden talent or a hidden fact about, <laughs> you know, someone, you know, doesn't know, but you want to share? Um... Not really. I can draw a little bit and I can write. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I hope that you stay safe and you get the chance to um, spend some additional time with your family and hopefully friends. Um, 
I enjoyed the opportunity to talk with you and kind of catch up with you. And uh, best of luck in the future, T. Thank you. Thank you. You too.